Schoology has free apps for all your mobile devices. Download the app from the App or Google Play stores. If you've not yet created your parent account, head over to Schoology.com to create your account. You can do this on your computer or on your mobile device by using a mobile browser. This video will demonstrate the basics for both iOS and Android devices. Keep in mind that screens may look slightly different if you are on a smartphone or tablet. Open the app and sign in. Rather than using this field to find your school, tap on the blue continue bar to open a screen that allows you to uh, log in with your email and password. This is the best way for parents to sign in. The screen that opens may look something like this. Tap on the three little horizontal lines at the upper left corner of the screen to open, open the navigation menu, which looks like this. Take a look at these descriptions of the various locations in the Schoology app. You can open this navigation menu from any page so that you can quickly navigate through the app from any point. Pause the video here to read more details. Your home screen will display either the recent activity feed or the course dashboard. At the bottom of the screen, you can switch back and forth between the um, recent activity, the course dashboard, or the upcoming feed. On Android devices, the links for recent activity, course dashboard, and upcoming are located near the top of the screen. The recent activity includes the most recent posts from your courses in schools. The course dashboard displays all the courses in which you are enrolled. You may have one or two courses displayed here or none at all since not all parents are enrolled in courses. The upcoming screen displays upcoming items which may include events and assignments. Tap on this icon again to open the navigation menu. Tap on Messages to open a menu that allows you to send and receive Schoology messages. Parents may correspond with their child's teachers via Schoology messages. You may wish to view a separate video about Schoology messages, which is linked in the video description below. Parents may receive Schoology notifications. Click here to view them. If you wish to modify the type and number of notifications you receive, tap on the Account setting uh, link here um, and then on the notifications tab once that page opens up. You may wish to view a separate video about adjusting your notifications which is linked in the video description below. Tap on the My Children link to view the courses, groups, and grades from your children, for your children. From here you can switch between the student activity and the enrollments view. Tap on the course title to access your student's view of the course. Navigating inside a course on mobile is very similar to navigating on a computer. A complete video tour of a Schoology course is linked in the video description below. On a tablet with a larger screen, select your student by tapping on the name in the upper right corner of the screen. You'll get a drop-down menu where you can choose the child you wish to view. Along the top here, you can also view um, courses or groups. On a smaller screen, tap on More to choose the child. If your teacher keeps a gradebook in Schoology, you can view those grades by tapping on the Grades link here if you're on a larger screen, or the More section if you're on a small screen. Tap the Navigation screen to open the menu again. This courses link here will open any courses in which you as a parent are enrolled. If you belong to any Schoology group, tap here to open those. Most parents are not enrolled in groups. Most parents will also not have anything in the resource area. The grades link here displays grades associated with courses in which you are enrolled. To view your child's grades, click on My Children and choose the student course. 
The calendar link displays upcoming events and other items associated with your parent account. You can switch between the upcoming view and the calendar view by tapping on these tabs here. To view your child's calendar, tap on the My Children link. At the bottom here, you have access to your Schoology account settings as well as the Help Center. This is where you log out of the, of the Schoology app if you wish. Otherwise, you will remain logged in even if you close the app on your device. The next time you open the app, you will still be logged in. Don't forget to check out the other videos linked in the description below.